Today, I'm going to be talking about one of the most infamous drug lords to ever live, Pablo Escobar. Let's jump right in. Pablo Emilio Escobar Gaviera was born on the winter morning of December 1st, 1949 in Rangiro, Colombia. When Pablo was only a kid, he dreamed of becoming the president of Colombia. But as Pablo grew up, he studied at the college of Universidad Autónoma Latinoamericana. But that all changed when he dropped out of college and went into the era of drug trafficking and motor vehicle theft. One of his first acts of righteousness was that of when he would literally go into a graveyard, this is true by the way, took a sandpaper sheet, and he would just sand off the names of the other gravestones for someone else to use. Like, why would anyone think that that would be a good idea? WHAT THE HELL? Pablo sold large, large quantities of powdered cocaine and fake lottery tickets to needy buyers who desired them and his products. He used a route from Colombia to the USA to transport the drugs and lottery tickets to others in need of them. In his golden age of drug smuggling and lottery scams, he racked in about $70 million per day. That's around $26 billion per year. One of his siblings, Roberto Escobar, would help him transport the drugs along with him. So this was not a one-man job. Speaking of siblings, Pablo had five other siblings in his family. There was Luis Fernando Escobar, he was assassinated at only 19 years old, Arzmero Escobar, Luis Maria Escobar, and Gloria Ines Escobar. But one thing is certain though, Pablo was definitely the most evil out of the ones that did commit crimes. Since we're on evil, let's talk about how many people he murdered, yay! <laughs> It's been officially recorded that Pablo indeed has killed roughly 4,200 people in his lifetime. He's killed about 2,800 police officers and 1,400 innocent civilians just for getting in the way of his massive drug exportation system. Now comes the day of December 2nd, 1993. It was a cold morning, 16 months after fleeing the cathedral, a prison he was held in after surrendering in front of the Colombian government. He was supposed to sustain a five-year maximum security sentence until he escaped a year later and went completely undercover. Meanwhile, Pablo was running from the search block, a special task force of the Colombian police, usually used to kill or assassinate a dangerous individual or a dangerous group. Pablo was found on the run. and was shot to death with holes in his legs, torso, and even a fatal shot to the ear that same day. But hey, at least that guy's gone, right? <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> you know what, I'm just gonna forget him.